A few weeks ago, those sneaky little cats over at the Office Scripts team released a brand new feature, but I don't think they told anyone about it. But this feature is awesome. It gives us the ability to run scripts and pass in parameters or variables when we run those scripts. That means our ability to create reusable scripts has increased massively. So in this video, we're looking at how we can create reusable scripts and we're going to leverage this brand new feature. So if you're ready, let's get started. To illustrate how we can create reusable scripts, we're going to work through an example. The example is that we want to unprotect all of the worksheets in our workbook. Let's suggest each worksheet has a password and we want to unprotect each of those sheets. To do it manually takes a long time. So wouldn't it be great if we can have a reusable Office script that did this for us? So let's take a look at this example. Here in Excel, I have a worksheet which has been protected with a password. If I try and enter anything into that worksheet, it tells me that that worksheet is protected. So the first action we want to undertake is to unprotect a single worksheet. And then we can iterate on that until we get to our final reusable script. So how can we unprotect a single worksheet? Well, we can use the scripts recorder for this. I'll come to the automate tab. Initially, I'll click away onto a different worksheet. Then I'll click on record actions. That now starts the record actions pane on the right hand side. You can see it says recording. I'm going to head over to my protected worksheet and then from the review tab, I can click unprotect. Now I am going to enter my password, which is password. And then I'll click OK. Over in the Office Scripts pane, you can see that it has now recorded that code and I'll click stop. OK, that has now created our script called script 58. Let's click edit. And here we can see the code that has been created. Now let's start by calling our script unprotect sheet. Fantastic, but you'll notice that it didn't record our password. It just applied the unprotect action. So if I reprotect my sheet, so protect sheet, enter password, and then click OK, and then re-enter my password, click OK. If we run this script, unfortunately, it will give us an error. And you can see that at the bottom. Line for worksheet protection unprotect, the argument is invalid or missing or has an incorrect format. What a confusing way to say the password's wrong. But the good news is we can enter the password ourselves. So in the unprotect method, I'll enter my password of password. And now when we run this, it should unprotect our worksheet correctly. So that script is now running. There's no error. If I try and double click, I can now get into my worksheet. So that worksheet has been unprotected. We've seen that if we try and use an incorrect password, it will give us an error message. And we really don't want that confusing error message. Instead, let's create a message that actually makes sense. So for this, we're going to use a try and catch statement. But before we get there, let's just tidy up our code slightly. We have a variable called reusable office scripts. This was created when we recorded our script. That's quite long, so let's just change that to WS for worksheet, and then we will use that variable later on. So now anytime we want to refer to this worksheet, it will be referred to as WS. Let's also add a bit of spacing in here so we can easily enter our new code. The first action we want to undertake is a try statement. So try and then open curly brackets. So we're going to try and unprotect our worksheet with the word password. We can then close our try statement. Let me just tab in that text. Now, if there's an error, we then use the catch statement. We'll capture the error message. Not that we're going to use it, but we can capture it. And if there is an error, we want to output a message onto the console log. Enter message in console log. So we're going to use the console.log. 
open bracket. And the message that we want to apply is ws.getName. So that will give us the name of our worksheet. Then we will concatenate that text with the words invalid password. Perfect, so that now completes our script. Let's just add some more spacing on here to make it easier to read. Now let's test this out. So from the review tab, I'll go to protect sheet and let's protect this with the word password. I'll click OK and then re-enter the password. Fantastic, let's start with an incorrect password. So we'll change this to password one. And when we run our script, it says the script is running and then we should get a message at the bottom that tells us that we had an invalid password on this sheet. What happens if we get a correct password? Let's make that correct, click run. So that script is now running and there we go, there's no error. And if we look in our worksheet, it's now unprotected. So far we've applied this to a single sheet. Now let's apply it to all the worksheets in our workbook. Let me change my variable, ws. I'm gonna call this ws array. So this is going to be the array of all our worksheets, not an individual worksheet. So this is going to be workbook.getWorksheets. So this is all the worksheets in our workbook. Then we want to use a loop for, open bracket, let i equal zero. So that means we're gonna start a counter at zero and that counter is called i. And we want to continue looping while i is less than wsarray.length. So wsarray.length tells us the number of worksheets that we have in our workbook. And then each time we want to add one to our counter of i. Right, let's add a curly bracket at the end of our loop, we'll tab in our try statement, and then we can close our for loop. Now at the minute, we haven't yet applied this properly in our code. So we need to use our WS array, and in square brackets, I'm going to use I, because that references each of our individual worksheets. And let's apply that again when we use our console log. Now you can see this orange underline here, and that's just telling us that this could lead to slow performance because of the number of times that Office Scripts has to undertake certain actions. Well, unless we have an enormous number of worksheets, then this script shouldn't be impacted by the actions inside this loop. So let's run this and see whether we get any errors. Fantastic, our script is running and we don't get any errors, so now this has been applied to every worksheet in our workbook. Now let's move on and look at how we can change this into a reusable script. At the moment, we have a hard-coded parameter, that is, the password that we want to apply. So unless our password is password, then this script won't unlock anything. So what we need to do is to make our password a parameter that's passed into our script. To do that, in the function declaration at the top, we enter a comma, and then I'm going to create a new parameter called password. I'll enter a colon, and then that will be a string data type. Now, password, we don't always need a password for our workbook. So let's change this into an optional parameter. So I'll enter a question mark after the word password. This means it's optional. And then, in our unprotect statement, we can use our password parameter. So what happens now when we run our script? So we'll click run. The script is now running. It brings up a new window for us to use. And this is the new feature. We get this window. It asks us for our password. I can enter my password and then click run. It will then loop through each of those worksheets and unprotect every worksheet in our workbook. So let me go add some passwords and let's test this out. Okay, so I've now added passwords to our workbook. Our first worksheet called reusable office scripts has a password of password. 
Sheet one has a password that I don't remember. Sheet two has no password whatsoever. And sheet three also has a password of password. So let me save this script. And now let's run this script. We get our window to appear again. We'll enter password and we'll click run. So now this script should unlock our two worksheets, but the first worksheet, sheet number one, has an invalid password because we don't remember what that password is. So everything where our password matches has been unlocked, but if we have an invalid password, it still gives us an error message in our console log. Currently, this script is saved on OneDrive, which means I'm the only person that knows that it's there. However, if I save it on SharePoint, I can make this script available to my entire team. So I'll click on the script name, and then where we have location, I can click on this arrow button. Okay, this now opens up a new window where we can select where we want to save our script. So I'm going to save it in my SharePoint example site, and then I'll click save. Now you'll notice that the icon will now change from just a standard script to a script with a small person in it. That is to indicate that this is now a shared script. And if we hover over that, you can see it is a team script. So that means this script is now available on SharePoint. Unfortunately, it can be quite difficult to find our scripts unless it's in our scripts gallery at the top of the ribbon. Or if we click the all scripts button, we get our list of the 30 most recent scripts. Unless it's in that list, it can be quite difficult to find. We have to click view more scripts and then go and find it. But what we can do is associate our script with our workbook. So let me go into my script and there's two ways that we can do this. I can click add in workbook. That will now add a button onto the face of my worksheet. So if I click that button, it will now run my script. Alternatively, if I don't want a button, let me delete that button. I can go to the option of the drop down, and then I can select add without button. This is useful because if we go for that option, when we go to this workbook, you can see that this script is already associated with this workbook. So that means we have these reusable scripts, but we can associate them with every workbook that we want to use this script on. So let me go back and let me add this with a button and then we can see whether this script will run. So let's click that button. Okay, we can see at the top, run status, it's running. It's going to bring up our window. I'll enter my password, click run. The script will now execute. You can see it ran successfully, but we have our view logs option. And if we click view logs, we can see where we had our sheet with the invalid password. And that's it. That's how we can create reusable Office scripts. We've seen that we can leverage this new functionality of passing in parameters into our function declaration so that we can make these scripts more flexible. We can run these scripts on any workbook that we like. We can save them in SharePoint and share them with our team. And if you want to, we can even associate those scripts with our workbooks. So those scripts are there, ready to be used on any workbook that we want. If you like this video, why not subscribe? Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.